Welcome to Tales of an AI Chatbot, where the world of AI technology comes alive through captivating storytelling. Today we meet Hall Townsend, captain of the Dancing Molly. Captain Hall has traveled around the world and has lived his entire life at sea. During his travels, he has encountered many strange beasts and creatures, those which most people believe are just legends. While docked, he enjoys his time at the local tavern, as any good salty dog does. Here, he often finds people eager to ask him about his adventures. While staying at the small port town of Anchor's End, one man gets the opportunity to ask about the legendary Kraken. Captain Hall catches a man sitting across the room, staring at him. Wide eyes filled with admiration and disbelief. Something about the man sparks the captain's curiosity. Feeling in the mood for some company, he beckons him over. You there. You look like you've seen a ghost. Captain Hall lets out a bellowing laugh. I take it you've heard of me. I can tell you want to ask about my grand adventures. Well then, come over here. Join me for a drink. I have plenty of stories to tell. And the Lucky Pikein has plenty to drink. Sorry for staring. I just can't believe it's you. Captain Hall, the captain of the Dancing Molly, the monster hunter, beast tamer, and sea devil himself. Captain Hall chuckles, his deep voice <laughs> resonating through the tavern. No need to apologize, lad. He pats the empty seat next to him. Come over here and have a drink with me. As the man sits down beside him, Captain Hall signals for the barmaid to bring another round of drinks. Now then, you were about to ask me something, weren't you? What tales have reached your ears that have sparked such awe in your eyes? I'm not sure. I have heard so many tales of your adventures. Are they all true? Captain Hall chuckles deeply, his beard quivering with amusement. Ah. The age-old question, truth or fiction? Well, my friend, at sea, the line between fact and fantasy becomes blurred. The vastness and mysteries that lie beneath those churning waters, they have a way of distorting reality. I promise you that every tale I tell is true, brought to life by the salt air and roaring waves of the sea. The barmaid arrives with their drinks, two frothy tankards of mead, which Captain Hall raises in toast before taking a long swig. So, give me a name, any creature that roams the deep sea, and I'll regale you with an account so vivid you'll feel as if you were right there beside me and my crew. I have heard that you and your crew have actually seen the legendary Kraken. Captain Hall's eyes gleam with excitement as he leans forward, ready to immerse you in a tale of thrilling adventure. His voice takes on a more animated tone, and the room seems to come alive with anticipation. Ah, the Kraken. Lad, if it's action and excitement you seek, then let me weave for you the story of our epic battle against the mighty Kraken. A creature so immense and fearsome that the mere mention of its name strikes terror into even the most seasoned sailor. It was a night like no other. A moonless sky blanketed us in darkness as we sailed through treacherous waters known as the Graveyard, due to its notorious reputation. The air was thick with tension. Every creaking plank seemed to whisper warnings of what lay beneath. The wind howled like an angry spirit, whipping across turbulent waves. Suddenly, without warning, tentacles burst forth from the depths below. They rose high above our ship, blocking out the stars themselves. Its body was gigantic, resembling that of an octopus or squid, but far larger than anything found in the natural world. Its arms stretched for miles and were covered in suction cups that allowed it to grasp onto our ship with ease. Its mouth was full of rows of sharp teeth that tore through our hull effortlessly. The body of the Kraken was dark grey or black, 
blending effortlessly into the murky depths from which it emerged. Using grappling hooks and harpoons, we attempted to impale its tentacles. But the kraken proved to be quick and elusive, dodging our attacks with surprising agility. With our grappling hooks and harpoons proving futile against its natural movements, we knew we needed to devise a new strategy. Our crew scrambled into action. Cutthroat Kami bellowed orders for cannons to be readied, while Henry Hart rallied his men with unwavering determination. Wayne, Bird, I Shelley fought valiantly at the helm, skillfully maneuvering our vessel amidst thrashing tentacles that threatened to drag us down into oblivion. With each resounding blast from our cannons, we struck blows upon the body of the Colossus. But mark my words, this behemoth wouldn't fall easily. Our ship shook violently as one tentacle lashed out, smashing into our hull. Mac Calabron and his crew fought tirelessly to keep us afloat, scrambling to repair the damage amidst swirling chaos. And then, our moment of triumph arrived. With one final cannon volley, we struck true. piercing through the Kraken's defenses like lightning through storm clouds. While the Kraken was stunned, both Kami and Malvo swept into action. After years of being on the same crew, they were practically one, reading each other's mind as they rushed across the deck. Fire up the cannons, Kami commanded. Load them with the gunpowder barrels, Malvo shouted. The crew quickly sprang into action, loading the cannons with precision and skill. We ignited our ship's gunpowder barrels and launched them directly at the Kraken's gaping mouth. As each cannon boomed, a fiery projectile soared through the air towards the monstrous creature. The barrels exploded upon impact, engulfing the Kraken in a fireball. The monster let out a deafening cry that echoed across the open sea. It thrashed and writhed in agony as its massive form began to sink back into the abyss from whence it came. Victorious grin spreads across Captain Hall's face as he finishes his tale. In that fateful moment, we stood united against overwhelming odds and emerged triumphant. The crew cheered with sheer exhilaration, heroes of our own maritime saga. But remember well, my friend, even the most harrowing battles can leave their mark upon a sailor's soul. It is the memories of those moments that drive us ever forward into new adventures on this vast and unforgiving sea. Captain Hall raises his tankard high before taking another long swig. Oh, why there, Captain? A shout comes from Cutthroat Connie at a nearby table. She lifts her own tankard high in salute towards Captain Hall. He chuckles heartily before turning back to the man with a twinkle in his eye. Would you like to meet the rest of my crew? Or perhaps that we'll have to wait until next time. Thank you for listening to Captain Hall's story about his encounter with the legendary Kraken. Please like, subscribe, and leave me any comments you have about this video. Tune in next time, where we will get to learn about the various crew on the Dancing Molly. Henry Hart, the Quartermaster. Wayne Birdeye Shelley, the Sailing Master. Mac Calibron, the ship's boatswain. Cutthroat Connie, the fearless master gunner. Bill, the resident surgeon. Malvo, the first mate. And of course, Mikey, the young and spirited cabin boy.